Hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to MMA One. Let's get into our Rising Twin post fight recap of Kyoji Horiguchi versus Ian McCall. This is Rising Ten's main event. Uh, this fight took place in the flyweight division of Ryzen. Uh, Ryzen is a Japanese MMA promotion. It's like Pride Fighting Championships, uh, and it's based out of Japan. Uh, so this is actually where a lot of fighters have been going once their contract is over with the UFC or Bellator or whatever promotion they're with. They A lot of guys have been going over to Ryzen, and Ryzen actually has a deal where they actually allow some of the Bellator fighters to fight over in Ryzen at the same time that they're competing in Bellator. That's kind of different because other promotions do not allow their fighters to go fight in other MMA organizations while under contract with them. And the winner is Kyoji Horiguchi. Uh, I'll get into the post-fight breakdown in just a little bit. Let me uh, go over some of this guy's stats. He's 27 years old. He stands at 5'5". He weighs in at 125 pounds. He has 66-inch reach. And he actually trains out of Coconut Creek, Florida, out of American Top Team. Uh, his current MMA record is 24 wins, 2 losses, 13 wins by knockout, 2 wins by submission, 9 wins by decision. Uh, he's, yeah, he hasn't really lost so many fights. He's actually got a pretty solid record. Uh, one of the other names he goes by is the Supernova. So Horiguchi actually knocked Ian McCall out in the first round. Uh, it was actually nine seconds. This fight was only nine seconds long. He caught him with a left hook to the face. As Ian McCall was coming in, he threw a combination. Uh, Horiguchi ducked under it and encountered with a left hook, and it landed right on the chin, and McCall just went down. Uh, he drooped and fell over. You know, the referee jumped in, uh, preventing him from taking more damage. Uh, some people complained, said they thought it was an early stoppage. Um, I personally thought the stoppage was good. Uh, he prevented this dude from taking a lot of unnecessary shots to the dome. And uh, I think McCall should go back to the drawing board before taking another fight again because this is the uh, second time he's been finished in his last three fights. So uh, he definitely needs to uh, stop and think about what he's doing and needs to take a different approach. Um, Horiguchi is not an easy guy to hit or punch. He's very good at hit. He's at, at the base of his fighting style is actually karate. So he's got that very wide stance, and that wide stance allows him to cover distance quickly so he can move and bounce around and get in and out and in and out and land punches and kicks on guys. Uh, that's actually how he won a lot of fights when he was in the UFC. Uh, he fought some very high-level opponents over there. But the problem people had when they were fighting this guy is they weren't able to track him down. The only dude to really beat him in the UFC was uh, Mighty Mouse. But uh, outside of him, everyone who fought this guy uh, all faced the same problems. I mean, he's very fast, he's quick, and he just bounces all over the place. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe for more videos. And let me know in the comments section below if there's anything else you guys would like to hear me talk about or cover in these. Uh, thanks for listening and have a good one. Bye-bye.